Neither Smithson Valley nor New Braunfels is ranked in our poll, so why are we going to them right now? Well, it's simple, because a playoff spot is on the line. Winner gets in, period. The proud Smithson Valley Rangers not used to being in this situation. They've usually clinched by now, but 4-4 four and four this year. The Unicorns looking to punch a ticket of their own. Quarterback Peyton Driggers from New Braunfels to Ethan Dulaban. Diving catch, nice catch over the middle. And then just a little bit later, Driggers, you saw the nice arm. He shows the legs right here. Look at him getting the open field, makes the moves, and finally wrapped and taken out of bounds. Driggers back to the air. Dulaban again. Nice route, nice throw, nice connection there all the way around. That unicorn drive extends into the second quarter. Chase Mercer on the field for a 29 yard field goal. It's good. And in this game, it's Smithson Valley. They're going to the playoffs 20 to 3, the final score. All right, Roosevelt and Churchill also taking part in a winner go home. Highlights of that one later. Right now, let's see if top rank Judson could finish a second straight regular season undefeated, hosting Clemens. And it's Jere Patterson for the Buffs. Off and running, and he is in the open field. And I don't think they're going to catch him. Rockets have speed, but not that much speed, not on that play. But the Rockets do have Mike Chandler. They're all everything quarterback. Gets into the end zone to tie us up at seven. A little bit later, it's Sincere McCormick. The other half of that great one-two punch. He gets into the end zone. Look at this score between these two heavyweights. It's Judson who goes on for the 49-7 to seven win. All right, how about Fall City, ranked fourth in our poll? The Beavers, let's check on them here as we go around the scores in our Friday Night Blitz. Top 10 high school football. Yes, they, we, there we go. Fall City, 49-7 winner over Pettis, Medina Valley, and Kerrville and Tyvee. How about that one? 21-21. That one has district title implications right there. Seventh ranked Marion taking on Lytle. Oh, a tough night for our graphics gurus X. His uh, Xavier Huerta, his Lytle Pirates losing right now, 28-0 in the fourth. Meanwhile, number eight, Bernie. You see them trailing Gonzalez, 35-20 in the fourth. Couple more scores to pass along for, from our Friday Night Blitz top 10. Pleasanton, 21-21 again. It's Lavernia, ranked ninth. Meanwhile, Southwest, a 17-9 lead late in the fourth quarter. All right, so Alamo Heights came with a chance to claim a share of the District 4 5A Division II crown. For Bernie Champion, a final preparation before they start the playoffs. So let's take it out there to Heights and see how this one went down. Got a crew at this matchup between two traditionally very good teams as well. Back and forth. First half, Luke Boyers, nice ball, and at least for a Chargers touchdown. A little bit later, Mules on the attack, Nick Proctor. <laughs> I'll take that, and then he offers it to somebody else. But less than a minute and a half, three back-to-back -back turnovers. First, a fumble recovery there by Alamo Heights. Champion then with a great deflection on D, Justin Schwerlich able to get the pick, and then Alamo Heights intercepted right here. They're going to pick off. The champion Chargers and Boyers, it's Gage Maples, and that leads to this touchdown by Proctor for the halftime lead. A look at this updated score between these two very good football teams. Bernie Champion and Alamo Heights dotted up at 28. 